Praise Allah, today we are going to see what do the feet represent. Most of the time we can see that feet is representing so many spiritual things. So let us see today what, is the, what do the feet represent. For that we are going to take Matthew chapter 10 verse 14. Matthew chapter 10 verse 12 to 14 says, As you enter the house, give it your greetings. If the house is deserving, let your peace rest on it. If it is not, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen your words, leave that house or town and shake the dust of your feet. Um, so a pious Jew on leaving Gentile territory might remo remove from his feet and clothes all the dust of the land, thus disassociating themselves from the pollution of those land and the judgment in store for them. The same way, that Jesus is asking the disciples to go and preach first gospel to the Jewish people. For if the people accept, uh, the peace is going to be in the house. For the disciples to do this is to Jewish homes um, and towns. If they are not going to accept um, uh, Jesus' message or themselves, uh, they have to uh, do the same thing to the Jewish home. And, and would show them symbolically the way of saying that he, uh, the, the missionaries of uh, um, Messiah, now viewed those places as pagans, polluted, and liable to severe judgment. Um, so, the, uh, according to the Bible, the faith represents six messages, six things: um, gr great love, and uh, you should not worship human, and right choice, take the right choice, um, and you need spiritual cleansing, and uh, that you need a change in nature. And sixth one is a God messenger. First of all, God's love. Uh, when God, when G Jesus was invited uh, to dine in um, a Pharisee house whose name is um Simon, a woman in the town who lived a, a sinful life, learned that Jesus was eating at the Pharisee's house. So she came there with an alabaster jar of perfume. Then she stood behind her feet, weeping, and began to wet his feet with his tears. Then he wiped them with his hair and kissed them and poured perfume on them. And seeing that the Simon was uh, very upset, uh, see this woman was a sinful woman. If uh, Jesus was a prophet, he might have known that uh, that woman was a sinful. If he might have known that uh, woman was a sinful lady, he might not have allowed to tie, touch him. So if that is not happened, so he is not a true prophet. Why it is waste of calling him? That's what he's thinking in the mind. At that time, Jesus called and told uh, Simon that, see, you, I came to your house. You didn't wash my feet. You didn't put uh, oil in my head. Uh, you didn't kiss me. But this woman kissed my feet. Uh, a poor alabaster perfume on my feet. See how, how much she is loving. So I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven as her great love has shown. But whoever has been forgiven, little loves, little, they will be love little. Then Jesus said to her, your sins are forgiven. Then Jesus said to the woman, your faith has saved you, go in peace. And so when we show the great love, having the great faith, all our sin is going to be forgiven. This is what happened to the sinful lady. Second thing, the feet represent, we should not worship um, the human when God revealed through the angel to John the, what, what's going to happen in the heaven and what is happen, going to happen in the future and when he learned everything then the, the, the John tried to uh, fell at the feet of the, the angel and tried to worship him. At that time the angel said, said to John, don't do that. I am a fellow servant with you and with your brothers and sisters who hold to the testimony of Jesus Christ. And so we should be very careful not to worship human or the angel. We should uh, worship in, to the love and uh, with the truth and uh, um, with the Spirit of God, Lord God Jesus Christ. Um, and what is the um, uh, third thing the feet represent? The feet represent the right choice. Um, when Jesus and the disciple went to a small town called Bethany, there a lady called Martha accepted them in his house uh, and he prepared the food for them. And uh, Martha has a, uh, has a sister Mary, but she sat at the Jesus' feet uh, and started to learn and held, uh, as a disciple to hear the Jesus' message. When seeing that Martha got very upset and told that Jesus, why you are not like, allowing her to sit near the feet and listen? I'm very worried. Well, why can't she come and help? at that time, uh, Martha, Jesus told, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to the work at all by myself? Tell her to help me. This is what Martha said to Jesus. Then the Lord answered, Martha, Martha, you worry and fuss about a lot of things. And there is only one thing you need. Mary has been, has made a right choice and that one thing will not be taken away from her. According to the God, the right and perfect choice for the disciple is to obedient and to learn from God. You have to do the housework but before that. Learning and um, showing obedience Obedience to Jesus Christ is the foremost duty of a disciple. So the feet represent the right choice. Um, and fourth one, what does feet represent? It represents the spiritual cleansing. This was happened during the last um, meal, what Jesus Christ took with his disciple. At that time, he got up and washed the feet of the disciple. When he was washing the feet of the uh, disciple, Peter, Peter told Jesus, you will not, you will never wash my feet because you're thinking, he, he thought with Jesus as a great man, why is washing my feet? That's what he thought. But Jesus replied to Peter, if I don't wash you, 
you don't belong to me then peter said to jesus lord don't wash only my feet wash my hands my head and too and all uh, but jesus told told peter people who are washed are completely clean they need to only have to be feet washed all of you except for one are clean from this it is very clear we need spiritual cleansing literal cleansing of peter feet make him socially acceptable for the dinner but the spiritual cleans cleansing of his personality make him fit for the kingdom of god um, one of the disciple uh, namely judas has consistently refused jesus spiritual ministry because when supper was taking place the devil has entered put the idea of betraying jesus into the mind of judas son of simon iscariot um, but that's why uh, so he uh, the, so the one jesus is representing about two disciples here one of the disciple is con consistently refusing jesus spiritual ministry and another, another disciple peter who had been loyal so uh, always uh, though sometimes slow to understand needed only occasional correction so in our life also we may be needing occasional correction and spiritual cleansing so every day we should be cleansed with the blood of jesus christ um, that's what feet represent um, and also feet represent the change in nature that's what happened to a man who was uh, uh, possessed by demon and was left in the tomb without uh, any dress um, at that time jesus asked him, uh, him uh, what is your name that the demon possessed man answered legion which means 6000 many demons had entered him when jesus commanded the uh, the devil to move, move to come out of him then he that person became well and uh, the, 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 the then that person became right minded dressed him and was sitting at the jesus feet the people were frightened and seeing him so what does it represent it represents this uh, total change of nature of the man most of the time even the believers are confused about demonic possession with a mental disorder because mental disorder is as a body is physically uh, unfit they say sometimes the mental also becomes sick at that time we have to provide medicine and make them well instead of treating them as a demon possessed people so what is the symbol of the demonic possession they they disregard for personal dignity most of the time they stay naked they are socially isolation retreat to the simplest place of shelter especially caves and tombs and demonic uh, demons more more over recognize of jesus deity and uh, they are controlled demon they are controlled by demonic speech um, they are controlled by shouting and they get extraordinary strength um, controlled by the power totally opposite to god and his kingdom and those people are only the demon possession not the people who are mentally upset or some problem with the mental 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 behavior so we should be very careful every time we should have a, a change in nature and we should put on the new nature so that that represents um, the feet represent that also at last the feet represents the god messenger because it is said in roman chapter 10 everyone who calls on the name of the lord will be saved how then can they call on the one they have not believed in how how, how and how can they believe in the one whom they have not heard and how can they hear without someone preaching to them for that and how can anyone preach unless they are sent as it is written how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news and so we are called to bring the good news to the people who didn't listen to the word of god for that what you have to do you should show the great love and faith and all sins have to be forgiven and you should not worship human but worship lord god jesus christ with the truth and spirit and should always make a right choice of obedience and learning from god and every day you should be spiritually cleansed and need correction and you should all should have a put a new nature not the old nature has to die on the cross and six to one only then only you become a god messenger spread the gospel i pray for you thank you lord thank you for representing that uh, the feet represent so many things in the name of jesus Amen. God bless you.